till we die. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I'm proclaiming something. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm going to tell you that if I just need you, uh... Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React They're talking about us on YouTube Hollywood 6, it look like I do magic Maybe he's practicing voodoo I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React So, yeah, diggity Yeah, If you're a member of Slipknot, you would be number nine dog Ah, right, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, I got a question for you. What up? According to Google, when did Slipknot first come out? Was it 1995, 1997, 1998, or 1999? 99. Google actually says 98? 95. Really? I think this was... Oh, okay, before Corey. Before Corey. Corey. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, I just remember seeing that interview when Howard didn't know who they were. You right. know, they just gathered down there, and that was in 99. And I think we're right about this, but Maggots let us know. If, I think their first album was before uh, Sinai was Mate. Something feed. before Red Jumpsuit. Yeah, yeah, it's like Mate, Feed, Kill, and Repeat or something like that. I think. We I still be. haven't heard anything from no. pre Corey. Which we have to. Yes. Okay, Smokey. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, seven Days. No, hell, that don't work. Uh, dang. Uh, man. Uh. So, uh, okay. I'm trying, bro. Like, uh, a shorter word for until. Uh, it's in that word. Till? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard. <laughs> so, uh, it'd be, uh, if me and you showed up together, hey, blank are coming. We? Okay. Uh, God, this, I don't Until know Until we why. meet again? I don't know why this is so hard, bro. Um. Uh, if you you could be alive and then you could be death till death do well till we die. You got it, my <laughs> All friend. Right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor, y'all. Please hit that thumbs up button, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you, right down in the comment section. <laughs> and to Day. It's time to step into the snare and mingle with the maggots because it's Slipknot Saturday. It's Slipknot Saturday, and we are back to the fourth album, All Hope Is Gone. Mm, all Hope Is Gone. And I think, you know, I think this is like right when they were, they're still at that angry mode, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I think we're going to, look, last last week's Slipknot Saturday was the greatest Slipknot song I've ever heard. It was <laughs> yeah. just so chill. Yeah. But this, I'm, I just know. I know. It's going to be more raw, guttural. And Till we die. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I'm proclaiming something. Right. Very profound. Yes. Right. I don't know, man. It's just, um, I would have liked to known, know like Corey at this time personally. Yes. Just to see what, I, I get your music in Slipknot and I see your music in Stone Sour, which if you ask me are polar yeah. opposites. But like, why are you so mad, bro? Like, <laughs> like why are you so angry? Yes. Oh, I mean, they were young. That, that's probably it. Well, look at the music we made back in we were young. It's just full of venom and fire and vigor. Hate just, and yeah. anguish. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, you grow up thinking the whole world is against you. Yeah. When in all reality, you got it pretty dang good. <laughs> yeah. Some people, yeah. Look, till we die, though. What, what you got that? I think, I think... I think it's probably more of this uh, proclaiming to society that... We are who we are until, until we, we die. die. Yeah. That smote out. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. If this is another chill track. No way. If this is chill off of this album. It has to. Friends are all hurting for moments and regrets. 
sincerity laced with the lie. This is slip now. Yeah. Still we keep <laughs> hoping to fix all the defects and strengthen these seminal ties. We go on together for better or worse. Our history is too real to hate. Now and forever, we stay until morning and promise to fight for us. something to say i do okay. but first i need to have a quick uh, a, a talk with the maggots all right to maggots and the trash talkers mm -hmm. 
Last Slipknot Saturday was a liar's funeral. Mm-hmm. I said that was my favorite Slipknot song because <laughs> I, th- I like I like the fact that Slipknot can hit you with some of the most extreme stuff you would possibly hear, mm-hmm. but then can tone it down. I said a liar's funeral is my favorite song, which it still is. Mm-hmm. But this is number two. Yeah. Th- if not, if not tied. Oh, this is dope. This was hard, bro. <laughs> yeah. T- w- we'll never give in. I just felt like it, he was talking to us, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. T- just keep fighting. Just man. keep going, dude. Yeah. Oh. Man. I think that's it. Like I know you're gonna ask me what I think it's about. I think this is a message to the band. Yeah. I think they're just talking. He's talking to them. Like, look what we have accomplished. Like we did it. We made it. Let's keep like, going. That, that's one of the hardest things to do on earth is to make it in the music industry. And we did it. We started a cultural revolution of sorts. Wow. We, we started a whole subsect of society with, with the music we do and our the imagery we portray. And we got here. Let's keep going. I could not have said it better. I think that's what it's I about. I could not have said it better, dude. I mean, and I feel like the the maggots and the trash talkers are like, look, you like that one. You know, mm-hmm. and, and apparently Smokey dropped some profound knowledge in the last reaction. Because y'all were just, <laughs> I mean, y'all were blowing this dude's head all the way up. <laughs> yeah. But... A lot of the maggots in that video was like, dude, Hollywood, you, f- I mean, you f with that song. Mm-hmm. Wait till you hear this one. Yeah, and uh, it's- it didn't take as long. Like we thought, you know, the sixth album came out. And we're like, they obviously mellowed out a little bit and settled down. But this is from what four or three? Yeah, fourth, fourth. Mm-hmm. It's and they were doing it back then. I think they just have that ability to tone switch at any given time. All right. So let me ask you, someone who's into psychology, someone who who's who knows the human mind of some sort. Now, with me being, you know, you be, you being the introvert, me mm-hmm. being the extrovert, want to be all in front, you know, yeah. but I like the I like being, you know, hey, what's up, man? What you what you want to do? But then yeah. I like the well, what is that? Why does that opposite my personality? Because what goes up must come down. Yeah, there's got to be a yin to the yang. The, the pendulum has to swing in the other direction. I think it helps you get back to homeostasis in a sense. Go ahead, speak. Well, think about that. Uh, you ever watched the movie uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh, no. Well, um, Babyface Nelson, he was on there, and he's this outlandish personality. You know, he's just, oh, I'll kill them all, you know, and he's driving around blasting people with a Tommy gun, all hyped up and excited and happy all the time. And even when he got caught, he's like, yeah, I'm going to fry, guys, you know. But then they caught him at nighttime sitting around the campfire just crying. and like, Aww. Because when you have, you know, mania, in a sense, that's where um, uh, uh, manic depression comes from. You know, you got mania and then depression on are the you, other side, bipolar. Are you diagnosing me right now? In a way. Go ahead. So <laughs> what, like, like I'm saying, like that, that happens. That's a phenomenon that happens with the, the human psyche. What goes up, if it goes up in an extreme direction, it's going to fall back in an extreme direction. So I think the music, being that you like the laid back chill stuff, it kind of evens out your personality. Okay, in a way. well, then the same goes for you. Because mm-hmm. you being the laid chill back person, yes. you like to turn up. It's yeah, the, in my mind, I like to get some of that mania I got going, you. you know? I got you. Yeah. Huh. Man, Slipknot Saturdays are great, dude. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, we didn't had our coffee. We didn't had our wisdom and my diagnosis from Smokey <laughs> early this morning. We had our breakfast. It's a beautiful Slipknot Saturday, and what mm-hmm. a way to start it off with this, man. It is. Absolutely. Guys, let us know what's next for next Slipknot Saturday. With that being said, my name's Baron, your Hollywood Bipolar 6. <laughs> <laughs> I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. Deuces. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to Slipknot Saturday and allowing us to mingle with the maggots. If you want to check out last week's Slipknot Saturday, it's going to be right over here. If you want to check out another artist that we've covered, it's going to be right over here. Thank you guys so much. We are really enjoying this Slipknot Saturday. We will see you next week. Deuces.